Hello. I'm George from Corrido.eu. Today we will talk about the requirements for the Financial Conduct Authority authorization. The Financial Conduct Authority, which oversees the financial services sector in the United Kingdom, ensures that the financial markets there operate smoothly. Ensuring honest and fair markets for people, corporations, and the economy as a whole is the organization's mission. This is accomplished by the authority through consumer protection, financial market protection, and competition promotion. The United Kingdom Treasury and Parliament have jurisdiction over the Financial Conduct Authority. To achieve its strategic goal of protecting consumers and enhancing United Kingdom integrity, the Financial Conduct Authority has set three operational goals. In the customer's best interests, genuine competition amongst financial services providers should be encouraged. The Financial Conduct Authority was founded on April 1, 2013, and it took over the Financial Services Authority's responsibilities for conduct and pertinent prudential regulation. The Financial Services and Markets Act of 2000 established the legislative goals of the Financial Conduct Authority, which the Financial Services Act of 2012 altered. The Act of 2012, which was implemented to guarantee that the financial industry manages and limits risks more effectively in the wake of the financial crisis, significantly altered how financial services businesses are regulated in the United Kingdom. The Financial Conduct Authority website states that the organization controls the behavior of 59,000 financial services companies and financial markets in the United Kingdom. For people, companies of all sizes, and the economy as a whole, honest and fair markets are the desired outcome. The authority achieves this by fostering competition, defending the financial markets, and defending consumers. The British Parliament and Treasury are in charge of the Financial Conduct Authority. What can the Financial Conduct Authority do? The Financial Conduct Authority has broad authority to carry out its mission, including making rules and conducting investigations and enforcement actions. Since the Financial Conduct Authority is an independent organization without government backing, it must be able to increase fees. As a result, the Financial Conduct Authority levies fees on approved businesses that engage in activities governed by the Financial Conduct Authority and other organizations, such as recognized stock exchanges. What do you need to do to secure Financial Conduct Authority approval? At financial services companies, significant responsibilities include heads of compliance, SMF-16, and money laundering reporting officers, SMF-17. Many businesses must have senior management function holders who have received Financial Conduct Authority approval, for example, see SMF-16 and SMF-17 in the Financial Conduct Authority Handbook. The Financial Conduct Authority looks for these qualities to determine a person's competency before your business submits an application to authorize them for one of these jobs. Which are required pieces of training and qualifications by Financial Conduct Authority? The majority of successful candidates will have finished the necessary training before applying. When applicants submit their applications, the Financial Conduct Authority is less likely to accept them, even if one intends to after they become authorized. Essential training entails taking classes that applicable to the company's line of employment for which the applicant is applying. Recent and current, that is, knowledgeable of the regulations in effect today and what is expected of them. Where training occurred years ago, the Financial Conduct Authority may inquire if the candidate has since added continuous professional development courses to their training. Brief introductory courses, on their own, do not contain sufficient content or depth to be effective for a head of compliance or money laundering reporting officer, including the smallest organizations. Detailed enough to provide the person with the expertise to do the function. Firms occasionally work with outside counsel, such as attorneys or compliance experts, to help their compliance efforts. These consultants may assist with their application or maintaining their compliance function. Although not required, several businesses find that it facilitates their internal arrangements. Nevertheless, the Financial Conduct Authority will undoubtedly reject one's application if this kind of outside assistance is the only source of compliance for the company. Any employee at your company who is in charge of a compliance or money laundering reporting officer role has to be knowledgeable and experienced enough to make judgments about compliance that are pertinent to the corporation, know when to ask for guidance, and know how to put that advice into practice. 
Anyone who handles regulation or money laundering reporting officer duties must devote enough time to them. Those who plan to work on it a few hours a week usually aren't accepted. The Financial Conduct Authority will also want to understand potential conflicts of interest if the proposed head of compliance or money laundering reporting officer has additional responsibilities inside or outside the company. For instance, because one of their duties will be supervising the client-facing business, successful applicants typically exhibit independence from this company area. The Financial Conduct Authority also takes into account the following. Where the candidate will be working, ideally, they will do so from the company's main office in the United Kingdom. Whether the applicant is a top leader inside the organization, such as a corporate director, since if they aren't, the Financial Conduct Authority may challenge if they possess the incentives or power required to be competent in these jobs, even if they have expertise and skills. The Financial Conduct Authority still might seek an interview even if a candidate feels they have the required education or experience. Please get in touch with us at corrido.eu if you decide to proceed with your application for authorization or registration.